Hey guys, welcome to Slow Riders Motor Vlog. We're at Twig Cycles here in Hagerstown, Maryland, and we're going to be going over the Yamaha Zuma 125 2024. All right, guys, sit back, relax. Slow Riders Motor Vlog is about to begin. All right, guys, here we are. We got the 2024 Yamaha Zuma 125. And the color is going to be uh, Yamaha Team Blue. It's super windy out here today, guys. Um, I'm going to try to do some edits to cut back the uh, wind noise. But, yeah, it's blowing around 35, 40 miles an hour. We got a wind advisory. But... I had to take the opportunity today to ride this thing and uh, go over it. So we're going to take it down to our little spot where we always go. And take a closer look at the Zuma 125 by Yamaha. Very light bike. I love the uh, bright uh, digital dash it has on it. Speedometer. Very nimble. Uh, we'll just pull on down here a little bit. Oh, let's go down over here where we were last time about the cones. All right. We'll go ahead and park this thing and we'll start going over it, guys. All right, guys, we got the 125 Zuma 2024. It's going to be four-stroke liquid-cooled. The fuel economy is going to be 101 miles per gallon. That is really good. You got disc brakes front and back. Your wheelbase is going to be 52.8. Seat height is 30.9. And your weight is going to be 282 pounds. So a pretty light bike. Again, your color is going to be Team Yamaha Blue. And it also comes in a black mat as well. So you got two choices on the uh, Yamaha uh, Zuma 125. All right, let's take a nice front shot. Pretty tough looking bike. You got your high beam there and your low beam. Definitely looks tough looking. All right, guys, and this is what I'm talking about right here. Look, there's my knee and there's the uh, handlebars. So it's pretty tight. And like I said, I'm almost 5'11". Anyone taller over six foot is gonna have lots of trouble with this bike as far as sitting on it. All right, go. let's go ahead and crank it up here. Like I said, got a nice looking dash there. Big numbers. Fire it up. And you got your lights here. Any blinkers? Uh, there's your other blinker. And your horn. It looks like you got a nice little uh, storage compartment there. And then you have a um, USB charger. Actually, you can just kind of like drop your phone down in that storage compartment right in there. So yeah, nothing too fancy. High beams. Yeah, we'll get off and take a look and see how 
bright that is. There's your high beam bright. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open the seat open, pop the seat open. You just turn the key to the seat. And you got enough room in there for, uh, you got a nice room for a full size helmet or a couple bags of groceries or a little backpack or something. Not too bad for a smaller scooter. You got your trickle charger here. So you can plug it up when you, if you're gonna let it sit for a while. And that's a feature Twig puts on there. Not all dealerships do that. Here is your gas. So you just take, I love how the gas is up here on top. You just take the key, turn it, and there you go, fill her up. Yeah, I like how that's on top. You can basically just sit on your bike and fill it up. No problems. In the back here, you got yourself a nice little extension thing. You can mount something there, um, some kind of case or a basket or something. And I think the capacity on that is like 85 to 100 pounds. I mean, so all together, for a $3,100 price tag, you're getting yourself a nice reliable scooter made by Yamaha and it looks good all right so we're going to get our gloves on here and um, take this thing for a little spin up and down this um, closed road like we do on the all of the other reviews and um, remember this is not our bike we didn't buy this bike we are Yamaha and uh, Twig is letting me uh, go over this bike, so we're going to be super careful with it. We're not going to gun it, you know, pop the key in, get this thing started. And we're not going to abuse it because somebody might come by this afternoon and buy it. You never know. Yeah, we got fired up. Like I said, there's the knee thing. It's This bike is definitely not built with uh, taller riders in mind. I mean, if you have some foot pegs and you could stretch your feet out, you'd be good. All right, let's, here we go. So she does have a nice pep to it. I mean, it does, it gets up to speed um, really, really quickly. I mean, we got up to 40-some miles an hour in, in no time. Yeah, I had the Honda Monkey, and that was a 125. And I think I did, like, uh, 53, 54 on that. I think I had it up to 55. So this probably will do the same. And also compared, you know, the size, the size of the person that's riding it also. Got a great turn radius. It's a very comfortable ride. I mean... It just, to me, it doesn't feel right because of my size. If you're shorter or smaller, this bike is perfect. I mean, it's got the speed that you need if you don't want to do the highways or anything. And you just want a nice chill ride. And something that looks really cool and, and, and toughly built. It's like an all-terrain scooter, it, the way it looks. Very lightweight, easy to turn. I can see this thing being a lots and lots of fun. So if you're interested in this and you're in the area, just swing by uh, Twig Cycles here in Hagerstown and they will happily hook you up with this 2024 Yamaha Zuma 125. And I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the channel. We're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So you want lots more content and reviews and rides, subscribe to the channel. All right, guys. Remember, like, subscribe, comment below. If you like the video, share it. 
And until next time, Slow Riders Motor Vlog review is out of here. This is a sweet little ride. All right, guys. Until next time.